First up are Dr. Sanders and Dr. Hagerman. And what a year that 2020 was, my goodness. Uh, if we could narrow it down a little bit in terms of politics and policy, we want both of you to weigh in. Larry, let's start with you. Well, here we were a year ago and we said, barring any wild cards, it's gonna be a great year. And what a wild card we got with the virus. Uh, we lost three to five years of building up a good economy with the virus coming along. And it took a real nosedive. It started coming back in uh, August and September. Uh, we're not sure we're really out of the woods yet. If we can kick the virus here with the vaccine over the next couple of months, uh, consumers are gonna come back and pull us out of the skids. And uh, it, there's a good chance we're gonna have a good 21. But 2020, uh, we all wanna put, put in the record books as being a tough year because consumers are the engine of the economy and they are down for the count for 2020. As you look back at 2020, Amy, uh, in terms of, of policy, what are the takeaways that you have uh, in terms of Oklahoma? Yeah, I mean, just really building on what Larry said and, and narrowing it down maybe into agriculture a little bit and the effects, some of those consumer impacts he's talking about, some of those unemployment impacts, all those things had on agriculture. You know, one of the big programs that we had here in the state was the coronavirus food assistance program. We had round one that started back in May, round two that started in September. This uh, made up a pretty big chunk of our, our farm revenues for this year. Upwards of 40% of our farm revenue actually came from policies this year. And I think that's something to watch going forward into the future. Uh, you know, the good news is that we've seen some recovery in prices that Kim and Daryl will talk about. And that again paints a little brighter picture for 2021. Best case scenario we want to see is that market prices recover to a point that these safety net policies really don't have to kick in in 2021 the way they did in 2020 and then the ad hoc assistance on top of that in 2020. Even though there were plenty of lows this year, there definitely were some positive things that happened. Let's talk about a couple of the highlights. Well, again, you know, we started out the year with a lot of optimism because the Trump administration did come through with negotiating the phase one trade deal with China. And although there had been several deals made with China that went down the tubes, we had high hopes for phase one, especially the producers in agriculture here in Oklahoma. And it looked as if that was gonna really work out. And then the virus came along and things didn't quite go as planned and it looked like we were gonna to have to implement some more tariffs. So yeah, it didn't quite go the way we thought it would. But at least there was some optimism. Yes. Amy, your take? I think one of the things I think positive out of 2020 was actually the increased awareness by consumers on our food supply chain, how complicated it is and then also how that results in food being in their grocery store and on their table. It's a problem we've had for a while with our small farming population compared to the broader population and them really understanding the importance of agriculture, the, how their food is produced and where it comes from and how it gets to their plate. So I do think that that increased awareness is a positive thing to come out of 2020 and could lead to more informed conversations going forward for agriculture. As we kind of think about the new year and, and hopefully approach it with optimism, uh, what kind of guidance do you have for Oklahoma producers, both of you? And Larry, why don't you, why don't you start off? How, how can we approach the year? Well, you know, uh, in good years, we have the government uh, policies waiting in the wings as the uh, helper of last resort. And as uh, Amy said, uh, they came through in 2020 to really help lift up the producers with up to 40% of their income and also with consumer assistance. And they're probably gonna help consumers out in the early part of 2021 uh, with the, uh, Biden as the president and they're gonna have the House and we're gonna see how tough it's gonna be in the Senate uh, split the way they are. and. I think that uh, as the consumers come back on board, 
uh, trade is going to come back. Uh, Biden is going to really push hard to get the trade side back on board, and they're going to come through. So I think we're going to see the first half of the year be a fight, but it's going to pull back and it's going to pull the producers back onto the world scene. And we're going to have a pretty good year for agriculture. And it's going to be the market pulling it through if it can. And if it can't, I think the government's going to be there to help them out in the summertime. Amy, your take? So I think just, just again, building on to that, um, I think producers just watching what's happening in the market, watching those fundamentals, seeing the extent to we get, which we get that recovery in the fundamentals is gonna be really critical. Just as a reminder for those safety net programs we're talking about waiting in the wings, uh, the deadline for re-election for the ARC and PLC program for our crop producers is gonna be March 15th. That means they've got some time to watch the market to see what it might do for the 2021 crop year before making their decisions on, on what to do for that. Of course, we've got to watch the drought as well. Watch those crop conditions in the coming year and what that might mean for our producers. Basically, I, I hope that in 2021, we really see a return to fundamentals where we're watching the weather, we're watching what's happening in markets, we're seeing that recovery in our trade markets, and then seeing that recovery in our, our economy that will really boost up our domestic consumption. And hopefully no more wild cards. We've had enough for a while, right? Have we ever. This, this is a year we don't need another wild card. For sure. Okay, well, great talking to you both as always, and we wish you all a very happy new year. Thank Same. you.